Hello, everybody. This is Jack, and thanks so much for joining today's new training. I know you really like last week's training, and I kind of have a chance to enjoy you your time today for an hour as well. Uh, depending on your question and interaction, we will have a very nice training. And today's topic is which elements have a good local business website? So give me some ideas. Like you, we, we, we want to create a list. A list what you think has the ideal elements of a good local website. Any ideas? Video. Yeah, video. Actually, that's a very good one. Video on first page. I, I will, uh, that's actually a very good one. I will get to that more phone number. Phone number. Call to action. Testimonials. Does that complete it or we need more elements? So I kind of was starting like you guys with coming up a list, photo of the owners, photo of the owners uh, about their space. I think why your service is the best, why your service is the best. Yeah, I, 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 I like this. I'd like to uh, come back to this. Anything else? Okay, those are good points. But you see, it is kind of hard to come with a list. Unless you ask ChatGPT for it. Now, this is not a ChatGPT training, by far from that. But I, I have become lazy with uh, coming up with a list, listings. So let's, uh, all those things are good. Video. Now, let me uh, comment on this first, because this is actually a very good point. Why is video so important? So actually, this is actually, it needs some more, uh, it needs some more uh, time to grasp for everybody. A video is important because many people prefer to watch a video above reading content. And you can put, let's say, 500 words in a nice video to discuss, to explain, to demo your product or service on an attractive yeah there's one thing that is uh also very important is website visitor stay on your website while the video is playing and that helps google to conclude people like your website and it is good for SEO. Simple thing, very important. Now probably are some other things, but uh, I kind of want to mention this point because it's, uh, it's underrated. Phone number, yeah, or tracking phone number. So, so you measure the results. Call to action. Now there's one thing about call to action is everywhere. Whenever somebody is ready, you want to make it easy that they take an action to contact you or buy something or sign up for something. Testimonial is let other people tell about your, your service or product. Okay. Much more powerful than you do it yourself. Photos, this is about a space, this is build up trust. You can, instead of, if you don't want your own photos, uh, you can also do certificates. 
and but why is yourself the best now you need to kind of turn this a little bit around because you don't want to speak about yourself you want to speak in the mind of the website visitor on your client on your customer so write the content in such a way that website visitors get a quick and clear answer to their needs i call it my needs so that can be questioned or something like that huh? so they, you want to make it easy that they can digest yourself you have to present yourself because write yourself your best that is hard to say if you say it by yourself unless you do a review table you know you see those columns and you can show other vendors that is possible but probably testimonies you can solve that as well yeah rob you got it what are their problems and pain points it's about their it's not a so you want to make sure it's not about you it's about their why should they trust you okay so we got a decent list and actually i I did the same uh, question in ChatGPT, so we got a couple uh, more complete list. So, well-designed local business website will have several important elements that can enhance its effectiveness and user experience. Here are some key elements to consider: user-friendly design. The website should be intuitive and easy to navigate. Users should be able to find information they need quickly and easily. So, quickly and easily. Nobody has patience nowadays. Mobile friendly, more than 50% of people will visit the website with a mobile phone, giving increasing use of smartphones for internet browsing. A responsive design that works well on mobile device is critical. Yeah, yeah, very critical. This helps ensure that customers can easily access and navigate the site no matter what device they're using. Now, clear information. This comes actually back on uh, what we discussed here. A local business should have clear and easy to find information about the business, such as name, what it does, where it is located, how to get in touch. This may be displayed on the home page on the separate clearly labeled page, like about us and contact information. Business description. There should be clear information about what the business does, the products and services it offers. This could be on about us and service pages. Cus can be a powerful tool for convincing potential customers to try a business product or service. They can be featured prominently on the website. Local SEO, because we are building a website for local business. The web should be optimized for local sales. This includes having the business name, address, and phone number, the NIP. We come back to that. Call to action. Each page on the website should have a clear call to action. Clear call to action everywhere. Secure website. The web should be secure to protect the, the build. Everybody knows by now. HTTPS. If the website handles sensitive content, it should have the HTTPS. Fast loading speed. Very important. A good website should load quickly to ensure a smooth user experience. So loading times can frustrate users and cause them to leave the site. Website speed is important for users' experience and SEO purposes. Mobile responsive, yes. High quality content. It needs to make sense. It doesn't. High quality is even more important than SEO optimized with keywords. Keyword stuffing is maybe they find you in the uh, quickly in the first month, but if they don't stay in your website and they click away, it doesn't help. It needs the web should have. Feature rich, high quality, relevant content that helps establish the business as a leader in its field. This can include blog posts, articles, videos, and other forms of content that provide value to the customer. Easy navigation. We spoke about a website, multiple pages. The web should be easy to navigate with a clean and intuitive menu or toolbar. You should be able to quickly find what they're looking for without having to click through multiple pages. Visual 
appeal. It looks nice. Eh? You can have the same food. One food, the restaurant asks thirty dollar, and other food they ask twenty dollar, and can only be the plate where how it gets served and the table and the environment. Eh? It needs to have a visual appeal. Good aesthetics and design elements are visual appealing, can help to attract and retain visitors, making them more likely to engage with the content and take the desired action. Social media integration. Visit an active social media. The web should have links to profiles, feed for each post, local citations, yes, mentoring local map, that's local content, embedding in Google Map of the location and local SEO can help boost visibility in local research. Good. So remember, a good website serves as a digital storefront of a business. That is kind of what we know, but we don't realize enough. A good web serves as a digital storefront of, of a business. It should customer centric, designed to meet the needs and expectations of its users while effective communicating business brand and values. A should customer centric that path is also important. Any question about the website? About elements of our website? So I I have been thinking this for many years. We just implemented that and I wanted to demo it today. Is why most websites what get used for Google Ads are one page. Think about that. Why are sales websites one page while a business website is multiple pages? Have you ever considered that? So have you ever talked about do, do I need a one page website, a landing page, or do I need an, a website? And I asked a question, ChatGPT, so we can go over it. Which element does a landing page used for paid offers like Google Ads differ than for differ than a local business website? ChatGPT, a paid offer site like Google Ads, is designed with specific purpose in mind. So that is specific. Most time, one service, one product, usually to convert a visitor. A local business has a broader Broader information, information about the business and service. A landing page is much more focused on a landing page is much more focused on a single goal. One product, one service, one sign up. Does that make sense? So if you have a business with one product, one service, or yourself, one product, one service, you want a landing page. A one page solution that can be deep. But if you want to build a reputation, multiple services, branding, then you do multiple pages. Make sense? Focus content. The landing page has focus content. It should be like it's usually high, specific, and resolve around a single product, service, or offer. Strong call to action, huh? an offer that they can't refuse. Have some form fields that they can fill out, or you know, better is the widget. Testimonials and reviews related to your offer. It has no, so landing page has almost no navigate because they don't have inner pages. You want them to stay on that page. Customize to add content. So you want to make sure that the add content or why they land on the website is in line. You want to make sure that you track performance because it's paid advertising. And you have all the urgency and scarcity elements. Everybody clear the difference between a landing page and a website. So we have been thinking about that because we start we start uh, with websites. First in local team jack and later in Rapify. But we upgraded it, that you have a choice. So introducing the new Rapify site. So when you go inside Rapify, you see you know, multiple pages about a niche. 
about the net. You see Plumber, you know, this is not, uh, forget about this, but you have a Plumber website, Plumber website, Plumber website. This is a landing page. So when you click on this, you see here no top navigator. You see there's no top with a slider and kind of standard information with the testimony. This is good, social elements, testimonials, call to action. That is a nice looking website. Okay. Then we had this website with a slider. It is, if you want to implement a slider, that is the way to do it. It has also those three serves, has those top navigation. So that is more a business website with the navigation. But we didn't stop. Now we come up with this website, plumbing, it has a new slider, which has an element called to action element, the box, which has top navigation, which has those dynamic elements. So let me load it. it has, this is the latest, latest version. You see that? So let me, let me find them. I think there's the landing page. Let me find them uh, here and then you will be astonished. You will be astonished. Let's see which one it is. I have to find them. No, it's not this one. Uh, this one. Yeah. So the second one. I think this one, correct? The second one. So let me use them. Use. Okay. So now I'm low. Oh, <laughs> let me, uh, let me log in. Uh, niches. AMM was related to another product. So search, use. Okay. Here's a top menu. Here's a top menu with the contact box. You can, can just click in and update the text. So this is all very dynamic and nice. It's nice looking. Inside this website, you will also find home number one, which has the traditional website, but also home number two. So here you can uh, decide which page you prefer. So it has inside the website, it has different websites. Can the landing page website still use Instant Connect? Yes, and you should. So what we did is, we didn't do one website about the niche. We didn't do two websites about the niche. With almost every niche, you get three different websites. And just to your preference or to your client preference, you choose one. InstaConnect is another name for Connect Bus. Huh? So with that, your website, your choice is, it is always more that. It's always to your like. So we focus on three per niche. We focus on three uh, services most time on this kind. We, we, we make sure they are very nice appealing. So let me, let me. We, we make sure they are appealing. We make sure that the, the site is dynamic, so it looks modern. We make sure there's always call to action, the phone number, link, testimonial, contact us, social elements. And we make sure there's a contact information, mobile responsive. We make sure the site, what, I put the link in the chat and you can, if you want, you can open uh, on your mobile phone, but those are mobile responsive, 100%. You can put this box on the left, on the middle, on the right. I, I choose the position depending on the header image. Uh, this actually, you see, is the top menu is medium, so this actually would also serve for Google Ads if you still want inner pages. So this is my favorite, this is actually my favorite uh, version at the moment. Uh, so it, it's clean, modern, nice, but we have different version. So the, just, you can choose by yourself or your, uh, 
your client can choose. Now there are many, many features. So this the uh, the fast loading is two ways. So let me discuss fast loading. Okay. Fast loading is very important. Okay. All Rapify websites load fast. Why is that? Because they are HD HTML H, H, sorry, HTML5 based. What does that mean? And they do not work with a database. So, what well, WordPress? So, what? Why should? Why do you people? Why do people like WordPress? Because you can use many plugins. I love that. Very flexible. All those plugins, correct? But they have one, this huh? plugins work with database. Databases. And that actually has two disadvantages. One is it affects loading speed. And the other one is security. So a Rapify website cannot be hacked 100%. It doesn't need security plugin. There is nothing to hack. You cannot hack HTML5. That is just, you cannot. There's nothing to hack. There's no database or whatever. Okay, WordPress, they work with databases and they can insert certain code and all kind of bad things. Now, everybody understand? So all Rapify websites are fast loading, but there's one element there's one element but also affect the loading speed and that is of course the server correct so we kind of have a standard server which is good nothing wrong with it okay but we have also premium server server which is super good <laughs> it's super good. There is nothing better. I don't know how you say it. It's super. I don't know how to spell it. Super, super fast. Extreme fast. It's extreme fast. This is Amazon. Amazon uh, AWS technology. Okay. It has a lot of things. Okay. There is nothing better than this for loading speed. So that is new. That is new. So when you when you have an important website, when you have an important website, uh, here, here, where is it? Okay, buy a new domain. Gary, give me the name. Gary. <laughs> Gary Mitch. Sure. Agency. Dot com. Okay, see if it's available. It's available. You see, you have the standard. This is good. Or you do the premium. So there's an option. You have to this kind of is best to decide when you order it. But with the premium, the SSL is required. That's the only difference. With the standard, SSL is optional. SSL is seven dollar plus twenty dollar install. Now, when you go back to here, I have to look. Uh, oh, yeah, Rapify Premium is $2 per month, and the Rapify Plus, the standard, is $1 per month. If you have a monthly plan, if you don't have a monthly plan, then it's $3 per month. The standard has by default no SSL. You have to buy the SSL, it's optional. With the Premium, it is not an option. So that is top of the line. If you have an important website for yourself or your client, you want the premium, you want the premium server. That is, that is just, it's much better than this description. I need to, there's a lot of things behind it, but I should do a better job to prescribe it. But 
that is kind of the basic. I was actually not prepared to explain in detail, but standard is good. All in the premium is better. So if you have an important website which you make money with or your client make money with, then you want the premium server and it's not that expensive. Good. Let me go back to my site. Oh, here we have uh, Aline. Are you there? Website. Wow. Still like it. So you can add it. Yeah. So you, you, the tech, I I will try to do it in a, the technical way. Why? What then? But in general, rule is. If the website is not that important, you choose standard. If you send paid advertising or for your client or you feel this is an important website, you want to choose a premium. Okay, site settings, you can do replace all content at once if you want to change an email or a phone number or a zip code. A schema, remember SEO here. We submit all the important SEO elements via schema. So you fill out all those fields and your and your website is SEO optimized. You click on this. And here it also you see those Google Docs in most uh, screens. You see the Google Doc and can read about it. How cool is if you work with a slider, you can add a slider. Now this is new. If you want to, uh, this new. If you uh, through the site, you can change the font and the style at once. I don't do that, but you can. Style wizard. You can change instantly the color. So let's do uh, actually orange is one of my favorite, and do apply, apply, and then you will see that the site is uh, pretty nice. But that you reset because I don't think I don't have permission from Arlene to change it. But here, you, every website has about 10 different color settings. How cool is that? You can set any page as home page so that if you open the domain, it will open with that page. You can enable ADA, and also this has a uh, Google Doc where you can read about it, shows your reviews. Here you can add Google uh, URL ID to show Google reviews. Blog page, you can add blog, you can add a blog page to it. Actually, that is not new, but we optimize it. You can add testimonials to it. You can share, add language to it that they can select another language, and your site gets instantly uh, shown in another language, and all kind of things. There you have those settings, page settings. Here you want to add the page title page better description. So that is what I have learned too. How to come with a good page title. And anybody can come up with a good page title. Okay, here we go. Give me a niche about the, give me a niche where you need a page title for. Gary, you want me to write a good page title for your site? Solar energy. Good. Wide. How many characters? How many characters? I've got characters. How many characters? What is the maximum characters? What is the maximum number? Maximum number of characters for a good page title according Google. Okay, so I need that number because I know Google. 60 characters, huh? So let me use this. Wide, okay. what a uh, wide uh, title for solar for a solar energy a local uh, is it local or not uh, or website maybe it's not a website huh 
max 60 characters. Okay, so up. Why? So affordable solar solution for sustainable living. Got it? Affordable so solar solution for sustainable living. This will stand out. So this, if where is the? So let us assume this is your website. This is your page title. Then write a page meta description. Now then the characters doesn't matter so much. White page meta description for F explore cost effective green energy solution with a top quality panels. Transform your home or business into sustainable powerhouse. So here you have the meta description. Okay, and then I need the keywords. White the keywords for a solar website. Good. I don't know how many keywords uh, they allow. So what is a good number of keywords to target on a website? I think it's too many. Too many. Yeah, they're also shown for landing pages. That doesn't matter. It's the same thing because that is what's shown when they do a Google search. Should always fill out those fields. Set and a stone depends on the business size. So it's not, it's not set a stone. Okay. Now what you can do is just copy them, or you review them, of course. Okay. And they need to be comma separated, so Google can read them. That didn't take long, correct? To fill out this, huh? and then you publish it. And then your website is up to date with the page title, with the page meta description, and with the keyword. What do you guys think? Was this helpful to SEO your website? Okay. Okay. Now, if your website, most of the time your website, your service is, is your website, your service is local oriented. Dated, then you want to add city, solar energy city. So you want to add a city name. That's what I probably would do. But I think solar energy can be in a, you know, more broader than a city. Huh? So you can also do a regional website like a county or a state. You can add state. That could be. I probably would then add the state or the community name. Any question about Rapify? Landing pages or website? So we have many, many websites. So we used to have, I don't know, 250 websites. Now we have 500 websites or 750 websites because most of the websites have an initial homepage. It, com it completely changed the website with a slider or with, an, with, a, with a box or with a static image. So it all depends on your preference. You can link your own domain name. So let me uh, show you that. So you don't need to buy a domain name inside Rapify. Hosting. And then you see a link in such domain. Then you enter the domain name. And then uh, also here you can say, I want to enter the standard or the premium hosting. And then uh, you need to update the name server on your domain name. How do I make the new landing page website work as my landing page on my current site? Google Ads sends people to my domain name. You just can't, you, you, what you can do, Gary, is uh, create a new site and publish to the same domain name. Maybe you want to do unpublish. So, but yeah, so, so you, prepare, you prepare your website. Let's say you prepare your website like you did here. You prepare your website. Then what you do is edit and you say, hey, I want a new website. And then you say unpublished site. So then that site get off this domain name. And then you go to your website which you prepared, your new landing page. And then you click publish. Okay, please enter site name. Okay, a new 
save. You select your domain name and then you select your domain name, which you want to uh, post it to, publish to. Got that, you, you just uh, removed it, huh? Can I get one of your people to help me make the switch? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can, just ask. Just ask what you like and uh, and uh, work together with Namit, probably, to make that change. Or just get a temporary domain name, make the website on a temporary domain name, and then you say, hey, I want to publish this website, because then everything is good, on uh, that other domain name. That is what I would do. So I would do a demo domain or so. Or, huh? So then you see everything is good, and they say, hey, I, all, all is good. Publish this website on that other domain name. Then you take no risk. Good. SSL is uh, annually. Yeah. Every year it needs to get renewed. It is a security step. So when you, so what I mean with uh, the website is every website has a standard home page, has a new home page as an old home page you see has many home pages so depending on uh, your preference it changed the whole website so cloudflare is not good enough for security yeah now it's i don't want to f mention names but in generally html is 100 percent secure and wordpress needs to get secured needs to has a database so it, it cloudflare adds security is good but 99 percent is still one percent risk while html can never be uh, get hacked so you know some people just like wordpress because they can use all those plugins and that is a good reason and maybe you are good in wordpress and you love wordpress but if you are mass uh, if you ask if you have been hacked in the past you not love so much it anymore you love get lesser yeah <laughs> hacking is is not fun gary said i have moved away from wordpress and rapify only now yeah you have lesser issues. Yeah, twenty-seven dollar is for the for the browser. You see here is you show that the if there's a, a, a contact map contact us that the that the the submitted information is secure. So otherwise, the browser will say it is not secure. Like here is a form. If it is HTTPS, this information get uh, transferred secure. If it is not secure, then if the, if they can read this, if you have uh, a bad browser, they can read your information. Okay. And with that said, I thank everybody for your time. If I didn't answer your question, uh, you can always reach me at support at jackcom.com. And uh, I see you on the next training. Thank you so much.